Hello and welcome to the English is with you channel. This is English listening practice series of international news. Episode 8, Bulk of Businesses Expect to Raise Wages This Year, Survey Finds. English Pronunciation and Bilingual Texts. Bulk of Businesses Expect to Raise Wages This Year, Survey Finds. The gap between employer and staff expectations is widening when it comes to salary and benefits. New data from recruitment firm Hayes reveals 95% of businesses expect to raise wages this year. But 52% of employees believe they would be financially better off finding a new job altogether and 48% of those thinking about switching jobs say they are pondering a move because they have an uncompetitive salary. Unite Union Assistant National Secretary Gerard Heher told Morning Report the rate of inflation, currently around 6.7%, was a baseline and should be a starting point when employees entered wage negotiations. If you get less than 6.7% it's not that you're not getting an increase, it's that you're getting a pay cut. The Labor Cost Index shows private sector wages increased 4.5% in the year to March 2023. Heher said the union believed a lot of workers were struggling to achieve inflation-linked pay increases which would allow them to stay where they were, in financial terms. We've had so many years of relatively low inflation that I think a lot of employers in particular, and some employees, are having trouble adjusting, employees trying to bargain for a pay increase were always playing catch-up, he said. It's always in retrospect, if normally you're looking at what you've lost, in this case 6.7%. The issue here is just struggling to stand still, Heher said a trend in recent years had been for companies to offer new staff higher wages than existing staff but he warned that was a very dangerous path to go down and it would quickly lead to existing staff seeking other work, employers needed to think very carefully not just about what it took to employ someone to fill a job, but about what it took to hang on to the people they already had, he said, corporate profit. Statistics showed businesses were still making a lot of money, Heher noted. The evidence is very, very clear, the largest ever increase in corporate profits was the year to 2022, there's plenty of profits continuing to roll in. A bit of a mismatch. Business NZ Chief Executive Kirk Hope told Morning Report employers in some industries have been paying higher wages in order to grow their businesses. The question will be what you're doing with those profits in terms of investments and thinking about the future, he said. There's going to be a suite of things that businesses are certainly thinking about, particularly in a very tight labor market. He said some industries, particularly those experiencing skills shortages, would be paying wages far higher than the 4.5% increase highlighted in the labor cost index. However he said the Hayes data showed there was a bit of a mismatch between employers and employees, not just in terms of salary expectations but in terms of benefits. There's some pretty useful insights there, for example, you know, roughly 80% of employers offer training, and only 61% of employees really value that, another area where there was a mismatch was with regard to hybrid working, he said. Something like 65% of people wanted hybrid working but it's not always available, so there are certain things that employers can do to try and bridge that gap where they may not be able to meet the salary expectations of the employee. Hope said it was expensive for businesses to hire staff in such a tight labor market and he believed that was why the Hay data showed 95% of employers were expecting to increase salaries and wages. They're doing what they can in that environment, planning for future investment needs for the business, and for growth, June 8, 2023, New Zealand Business. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video and found it useful, please subscribe, like, click the notification bell, and share it with others. All of you have a lovely day.